to take both players to NMPZ and the final game of this I best like of five. Portugal. Maybe. Yeah, I like CG Portugal wants to push the pressure, CG. and yes, he does. That's the fastest lock that we've seen yep. in this round. Yep. I, I do. Sorry, wait. in this game. I do. And we have an Italy oh, guest here. Oh. Fly me going to Italy. I don't like Italy here. I, this I, is GG for somebody. Jesus. Who is it? It's, it's GG for Fly Me. CG is going to Stockholm. He punches his ticket to the World Cup. Well, that is Gavin Atak. He's a professional geo guesser from Chicago. We're going to explain what that is. The game drops a player in a random place somewhere in the world, and the person has to pinpoint the location as accurately as possible in the fastest amount of time, just given that one picture. Right, Gavin? That's correct, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So Gavin went to Lane Tech. He went to University of Chicago. And you're going to be in the World Cup of this thing this fall? That's correct, yeah. This is unbelievable. Right. So you have to look at a picture and look at the clues of the landscape or something? Right, yeah. So basically, you take a look at everything that you can see around you, the, the trees, the type of road that you have, bollards on the side of the road, all things like that. Basically, anything that you have. So, so like you have right to be very familiar with geography, which you studied in school, correct? That's right, yeah. I, to do this game or just coincidence? Yeah, sort of like I've loved geography my whole life. And so, but there's uh, also yeah. got to be, I mean, there's got to be some places that look like a lot of other places. So you're knowing what leaves are on trees, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, there are a lot of similar places, um, but yeah, foliage is very important. All right, for, let's do an example here. You've got the computer up, and you're going to show people an example of what you do. Okay. All right, so here I am just on the homepage of GeoGuessers. So okay. I'll go to one of my favorite maps. This is called Arbitrary World. And so, as the name suggests, it's just a bunch of arbitrary random locations. Okay. Uh, somewhere in the world, anywhere that has Google Street View. Oh, sorry. So I'm just going to start up a game and do... Okay. Uh, so this is how you practice. Yeah, I would okay. just pull up this kind of map and All right. just play some casual rounds. So I'll just do a, a no-moving round, and we'll see what we get. Hopefully nothing too impossible. <laughs> So this is like just they're going through the Google Maps and they're showing you a location. Right. You have to figure out where it is. Okay, right, what? So, uh, right away, I can tell you this will be in Tunisia. What? what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Why? Yeah, so uh, basically, one of the good clues in Tunisia is there's always this car, this green Toyota following the Google car. So if you ever see that, you know right away. Did you learn that at the University of Chicago? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so for real, that's done. You figured that out already. Yeah. I know you're right. Does it? Uh, well, basically, I mean, not that I doubt you, but... Yeah. <laughs> All right, so then you pinpoint it on the map, yeah. and you oh, go to I Tunisia. See. Yeah, you open up the map, and then you... you okay. Just kinda, I'll just click kind of in the middle here for okay. this Okay. Uh, and there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Come that, on. That, boy, this is fun. Let's hey, do another one. Can you do another one? Can you do another yeah, one? Yeah, I can, yeah. I can, we got to have a fighting shot at this, Larry, I'm sure, uh, right? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. So this is another one? Wow. Uh, well, you wouldn't believe it, but I, I think we're on Tunisia again. Here. Oh. That's, yeah, sometimes the car ends up in front of you, so you can see it up there this time. What the heck? Uh. So, that, 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 you must have been playing, how long have you been playing this before you really got good? Uh, I've been like playing, spotting that car, you know? Yeah. yeah, I've been playing for about seven years now, but only in the last like three or four did I start becoming like really pretty good at the game. Do another one. Come on, yeah, okay. do another one. <laughs> All right. He's like a wizard. I know. <laughs> oh, I hope I just don't mess All up right. these rounds. No, no, no. Uh, so this one, uh, a lot of times it's helpful to see like what kind of car Google was driving. Like you can see this yeah. this white car in the back here. Where? Uh, it's like this little sliver on the road. That's a car? Yeah, that's like the back of the car oh. that Google was driving around. Ah, uh, okay. And then combined with that, you can use the, the buildings and the foliage here. Oh. I would have said this was just somewhere. LaGrange. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Good guess, Larry. <laughs> I'm just guessing. And then you look for, so what, this is, how long does this usually take you to figure out? Like when you get to these championship rounds, I mean, are, is it a minute, 30 seconds? Yeah, usually we have like about a minute per, per wow. round. Like that's the maximum time we're All right, Are so you struggling with this one? This is uh, a I'm tough a little one? bit nervous to make the wrong hey, call. You hey, can't, you were a couple of morons here, so <laughs> you're not going to embarrass yourself. Give it a shot. I want to say it's the Philippines, but it All might right. be Indonesia. I might be messing this one up. I'll give it a guess. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that's embarrassing. Uh, hey! Oh, no. Listen, hey, get... two out of three ain't bad, Come right? Come on. That is, this is just fascinating. So this is a... When did you start doing this? Did you do it through Google, or is this like a team sport? There's like it's, a sport network that does yeah, it? Yeah, it, it sort of emerged recently as like an actual like eSport. Um, but yeah, in the past, it was just sort of a single-player game, um, and you just sort of play maps like this for fun, and then 
in a few a few years ago they released a duels mode where you can compete one on one versus players and that's what I've been like focusing on recently and the World Cup is based around that. It's, that it's was really more exciting, interesting yeah. than most of what I've seen on TV in the last <laughs> year and a half. I could watch you. Do you what, yeah. Can we watch you competing in these world championships coming up? Yeah, when absolutely are they? can. Yeah, they're, they're going to be broadcast on YouTube and Twitch uh, from the official GeoGuessr accounts. And when's that come up? Uh, that's going to be in September. Wow. All right. Well, that, that was fun. Can you make money doing this, Gavin? Is there like a, do you win a big amount of money? If you there, there is a prize pool, yeah. And then um, I, I post videos to YouTube and stream on Twitch and earn a bit of money from that as well. Oh, so we could subscribe to your channel and watch that's him right. do this and he makes money. Because that's <laughs> should, fascinating. Should you be subscribing to young 20-year-old men, Robin? <laughs> <laughs> no, probably. I'll fill out the paperwork it's for you for that. It's for geography, Larry. <laughs> for the restraining you order. To, you can go to Gavin's YouTube page and follow him on social media. Good luck to you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, hey Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, that's cool. I could watch him do a million really of those, cool. honestly. You'll have to come back. We could do. We could yeah. kill the whole nine o'clock hours. Yes. Watch this. Take yeah. the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> um,